Okay. Hi, Tweethearts. Happy New Year. It is 2024. We made it. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we made it. It has been a roller coaster. I am not happy at all to, you know, I, it's like, I, I, 2023, well, the last bit of it was okay, but yeah, 2023, not, not gonna, not gonna be too, too happy to be without that, <laughs> or I, I will do well going into 2024, it's, it's feeling like 2024 is gonna be a good year for me, at least I, I hope so, I mean, we're finally starting to see the tail end of a lot of insanity of the past several years happy to finally be on this other side yes absolutely it's uh it's been a long march but hey we have got a lot to be thankful for that we made it this far so and we are very happy to have all of you with us as well hello let's see who all is here hello eternal hello cybot hello love um So you make sure yep okay that's that's everybody i'm sure more people will stroll in like i said i probably won't have this be a very long stream tonight because there is a lot to to get through and there is a lot to be um catching up on with uh many and various things not to mention not to mention, we do have uh, a lot of big news for um, for things as well. Like, uh, oh, for example, we have memberships here on YouTube. Uh, you can join and become a member of the channel and get to have some perks, which those perks are, are coming. I'm in the works of getting some uh emojis specific to the channel hello john wick welcome i am hoping that uh, wherever you are that you don't have to deal with the kind of snow we're getting here tonight Ooh, happy to uh happy to have you here but yeah it's uh how's my book going the book is finished recording i'm all done recording it uh sent it off to the other uh, narrator who's uh, working on getting his parts put in um, still as far as I know still on track to come out in mid-March moved to Japan for nine months whoa well hey that's exciting how is 2024 treating me so far it is treating me pretty well um, I have had um well i've got a cold right now some sniffles and stuff which i always get this time of year it just it happens by the end by by the time i'm up and moving around most of it is gone the, the morning's just getting started right now it's like oh for please heaven's sakes let me uh, breathe through my nose but on the other hand the rest of the day goes pretty well and yeah right now i'm just gonna make my way through january but yeah, there's some big things between now and the end of March. Uh, about halfway to getting all of my new equipment for the studio. That's right. I'm going to be moving. I know I said this last stream, but uh, I will be tired, retired from the hospital. 28 years, blood, sweat, and tears. And indeed, some of that was probably your own i i hope very much that they um they know how much they will miss you but it sounds like absolutely fantastic i am glad to hear that you retired and that you're going to be doing something nice for yourself going to japan that sounds like one of those really cool things to to get to be able to do japan is on my list of places i'd like to see um but yeah going to be ordering new studio equipment um new microphone for streaming new um cables 
uh, setting that all up. Going to be taking the desk out of the closet and sitting in my uh, one half of my room because that's right. I'm going to be getting myself a proper recording booth. Sound absorbing blankets and PVC pipes essentially, but it's going to be going to be someplace where I can stand and record and do the scripts in a proper sound treated environment and then I can edit. My auditions are going to go better, my audios will be better, streaming will be much the same but hey there's enough going on we don't need to worry about that still the room is being sound treated Kevin welcome I, I am doing well hope you are doing well too what's another thing that's coming up in the next few months uh I will hopefully I'm I'm on track to purchase tickets to head back to England in September to finally get to see the boyfriend it has been what are we at It'll, by the time I get to see him in September, um, it'll be about 26 months by the time I get to see him again in September. So, yeah. Was warm for Christmas in Hawaii? Oh, I'll bet. Hawaii is another place I'd like to go to. Um, it's another one. Yep, I am going to visit the, the quote-unquote hubby. We're not married. But, yep, I am going to get to see him. Um, but, yep, the, the significant other, my other half, I will get to see him in September. At least, barring any delays, if things keep progressing as they are right now, yes, I'll still be on track. <laughs> Not engaged yet either. There's no no rush on it. I mean, we've talked about it, but... You know, we're not rushing. I'm not in a position where I could move. He's not in a position where he could move. So for right now, one step at a time. <laughs> it's it's something that is that that may be happening, but not anytime soon. I have got lots to do to make sure I'm in a position where I could even think about that. But hey, for right now, that's one of the things. So like I was saying, quick recap, new studio. So is he full on English? Yes, born and raised in England. Uh, yep, born and raised in England. He's lived there all his life. Uh, northeastern end of the country. Um, so yeah, we, we met through doing, um, we met on online because we were both content creators me i've got this channel i've got my audiobooks he was sort of active on social media doing some audios he's got a youtube channel that he kind of still does stuff but his whole point of doing audio was just to try and see how he sounded to other people's voice and if people would actually listen and some people did, so the experiment succeeded, and he's made a lot of friends. So he has—he hasn't done much, but you know, we've we've talked about. Ooh, wouldn't it be funny if the two of us created a YouTube thing where we could do stuff together, sort of a a, a, a tea and cookies kind of thing. <laughs> but you know what? There's a lot of dreams up in that, and right now. Step one is to get myself into a position through voice acting and through work that I would be able to even move. But yes, I right now I'm just looking forward to September to getting to see him. I'll actually be going to visit him around my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to me! Oh, uh, let's see. But yes, the channel now has memberships with more stuff coming down. <laughs> he is definitely what I'd call a gentleman. He is much more down to earth than I think I am, which is something good. And as of course, all all uh <laughs> all of um as all boys do, they love pulling the pigtails of the one they love. 
but they do it in love. So, hey, birdie and biscuits. Well, that could be fun. Um, yeah, we want, we kind of joked about having a, a channel where we could do a variety of stuff of playing games together because he, he and I both like board games. But you know what? That's, that's, whoops, bounce, bump my microphone here. I don't need to hear that. Let's see what's another thing. So let's see, channel memberships. Patreon is going to be coming back for a lot of exclusive audios and series and some other uh, content that is going to be coming back probably by the end of the month. I want to make sure I've got enough content available and recorded. Um, emojis and perks related to this channel are going to be coming pretty soon. I'm talking to some people about making some, some emojis. And let's see. Oh, also, the uh, powers that be have given me the opportunity to have not only my PlayStation 4 to be able to stream games on my capture card, but I also now have a Switch that will allow me to stream. So, yes, if we wanted, we can't do it tonight. I'm not set up. I set up for Stardew Valley, not for Switch streaming. But, yes, if you have Mario Kart, I have the ability, obviously, to create a room and we could all race together. Uh, one of the things that was asked for was Animal Crossing, and that's going to be a, a Let's Play, not a streaming. It's going to be a Let's Play because it's a little bit more difficult to do, but there's also going to be some more games coming, um, like... Uh, in March will be Princess Peach. Yes, I have the game pre-ordered. Princess Peach uh, Showtime is going to be a, on this channel. New Vegas stream? When? Oh, uh, new games like... Um, not Animal Crossing. Pro will be just a Let's Play. Uh, the internet connection sucks here. It's not, is it streaming okay, or is it just your internet connection where you are? Because I was worried about that, because we have a, a storm passing overhead, and there's a lot of low pressure, and it's really, the cold and everything are really messing with power. So if I suddenly get cut off, do not panic. It's, it's the weather. So, yes, your location. Okay, good, 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 good. I mean, bad that it sucks there. I don't want anybody's internet to suck, but I'm, I'm glad at least I'm still streaming okay. Um, oh, there will also be a couple of rules bent on games I'm going to record. Uh, I'm going to do the game Stray as soon as I get it. I'm saving up for that also because there's no talking in it and I can do all the fun voices. But I'm also breaking kind of the rule here and that is bending the rule about me doing voice acting in games where there's already voice actors. I've been trying to avoid doing that. But this one, I love the game so much and it's so fun. But it's also kind of fun because the main character doesn't talk. So um, that game that'll be coming down and a lot of this stuff is not going to come until after I have the studio. Um but that game that is coming is Bug Snacks. Yes, I will be playing Bug Snacks on this channel. If you haven't heard of that game, uh, I personally find it funny and cute with all the little bug snacks. I know it kind of takes a phenomenal twist, like, sm like M. Night Shyamalan levels of twist, but to me it was still a fun game. So I'm going to be playing a Let's Play of that. There's other games that are going to be played on here. I'm going to be finishing Night in the Woods. I'm going to be doing uh, a playthrough of um, a game called Cinderella Phenomenon. Uh, hopefully in May, just in time for uh, Memorial Day and other such. I'm going to be playing um, uh Oh, shoot, I'm, I'm totally blanking. Valiant Hearts, that's it. Valiant Hearts, the the Great War, World War I. Um, I've been telling myself I wanted to do that for a while, so hopefully I'll be able to do it this summer. And then there's, uh, there's always The Sims. Can always play The Sims on here. There's I did get myself Sundown and Sunhaven. So yeah, there's plenty. It is a good game. It's a great game. I absolutely love it. 
I love the history. I'm a huge history buff. If you go back, one of the first games I played through here, and you know what? I might play it again. Oh, sort of as a celebration of the just snacking on spaghetti sandwiches and leftover cathedral window. White jelly filled with colored jellies. When, ooh, that sounds really cool and really yummy. And I like that image of uh, a stained glass window. That is, that is a really cool concept. I really like that idea. But yeah, if you look on my channel, I played one of my favorite games from when I was junior high, high school. And when I found it on Steam, I uh, was ha had to play it again. And that is The Last Express which is a game on the Orient Express going across Europe um, just around World War I because history lover. So, you know what? I may kind of do that as an anniversary and play through it again, but definitely check it out. And there'll be some fun streams of um, Ticket to Ride and a few other things here and there. There's the wish list is also on here of stuff I want to do. I'm going to be getting a bunch of games, so there's going to be a lot to do in addition to the normal audios that I do. Yes, there are going to be audios. There is going to be a couple of new series. I know a lot of you really enjoyed the Cursed uh, the cursed Royals Apprentice. I know a lot of you really enjoyed that. And thank you to Blue Chan XD for writing that. Absolutely loved it. But there's a few more series that I'm going to be doing. I... I have, uh, hope everybody also enjoyed 12 Days of Disney Villainesses. Absolutely loved doing those. Loved being able to work on my character voices. So, hey, what do you say? I stopped talking and my pregnancy audio is still my favorite. You know what? There, there's probably going to be a few more of those as well. I know they're pretty popular. Um, they'll probably be... Um, some more if I can find other scripts. Hey, remember, I've got a Reddit channel. If you come across scripts that you think you would like to hear me do, share it on my Reddit channel. If you just go to Reddit and search for Brown Eyed Bird ASMR, you can post scripts of things you'd like to see. I can't promise I would do them, but I can at least look. I'm always looking for new material because I, I have a few specific that I look for from specific writers in addition to what I write for myself. Um, but yeah, I definitely have a lot keeping me busy because keep in mind, I'm working 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday in addition to doing all of this. And one thing I learned from my boss, the, the CEO of my company, was how important it is to have so much structure when you have so much. I actually got to talk to him um, very, very briefly because he was on his way to something talking about structure. And he said, from everything you're describing, you really need to set a, a, a schedule of what to do and how long to do it and and really stick to that to make sure you're you're filling all those buckets and you're not burning yourself out because that is the last thing I want to see happen to you um, because, you know, you, you have a great voice. He's like, I'm talking to you right now and your voice is really cool. And, you know, if people I've talked to on the phone in customer service say, I have the voice just right for audios. So... Let's not burn myself out. Hello, everyone. How was your Christmas slash New Year? Welcome, Crazy Gamer. My Christmas and New Year was good. I didn't do much of anything. I had dinner with family. New Year's happens to be my younger sister's birthday. So got to go do Christmas slash birthday. As, as she puts it, birthmas. <laughs> and my nephew, my oldest nephew, also has a birthmas. Um, so there was a lot of birthmases, birthmas I, birthmases happening. So yeah, it was a very busy time, but it was also a lot of downtime, which is what I really needed because stressful jobs and the amount of work I do, which you can go back the last 20 minutes and listen to all about. I'm not going to repeat everything, but Hey, I'll recap everything at the end. What do you say? We turn off the music and let's get in to some stardew valley because oh we have to brush the dust off let's see here let's go to the main page all right everybody settle in you got your popcorn 
lazy as heck, got fat from my grandma's mo- <laughs> Yeah, my, my, my grandma and mom's cooking, uh, not, not a thing anymore, at least not for me. That being said, however, I, st- I put on the holiday pounds. What the heck? Hold on. What does it say? Okay. Sorry, I'm getting text messages, but my phone is away from this so I can concentrate. Okay. Let's load this up. I've played a few games. Where is... Birdie, there we go. Let's get back to Aviary Farm, shall we? Ooh. Also, I'm noticing I don't have this as, it, it's not as far behind um, compared to how it normally is. All right, I don't even remember what season we're in. It sounds like spring, number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast. Actually, I'm going to start saying it like this because I've recently gotten into cricket in the last few years. You know, English boyfriend and all. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. I apologize to any Australians for not doing a better job. But yeah. One of the, uh, when they play, when England plays Australia in cricket and they get to the ashes, it is, it is so funny because one of the announcer who is retiring after this year is, uh, his thing is to just make the biggest deal out of the shipping forecast. Oh, wait, what? Mimi requires a si- Oh, I just want to water it, dude. All right, fine. Guess I can't yet. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Let's go give the kitty some water first. Not for the last time do I find myself wanting to have two cats. I have Claude there, but I need Reese's. Um, let's see. Grandparents got cousin Panini Ma- Ooh, Paninis! I would love a panini maker. I would have absolutely no place to put it, though. I would love to get that. Oh. There's a thing there. Um, somebody suggested me getting an air fryer, but again, I have no place to put that kind of stuff. Which is sad, because I like paninis. Panini are the yum-yums. This stuff is watering. I really am going to have to make an act, a huge effort um, to really get on the ball with them. Um... Oh, no. No. Come on. Are you serious? Uh, do I have enough to make another gate? The other half of the gate? I don't. I don't have anything on me. Let me go make it. Happy ducks. Happy ducks and chickens. Usually they are pretty small, but again, I, I can't even... The, the the microwave is the only thing. If I have a crop pot, it's got to go, go down when I use it. Popcorn maker. Toaster can't even be on the same counter space. I really ha- just have that small a counter. So, and again, just no place to put it. Sunday, Sunday I will have one, but it's also not a huge priority because my oven is pretty good. Although I would like to try some air frying of uh, zucchini and stuff, but hey, we will get there. Let's get these eggs. As Dylan Hollis says, eggies! And let's make some iridium style mayonnaise. I'm gonna go put this up here. Bird wants to do something in game. Stardew Valley. Lol, no. 
No, that's absolutely 100% correct, isn't it? Just, haha. -ha. No, you, you... It's almost like th this is not the dream you're looking for. You want to do what now? Oh, there's the other one. What did that make anyway? Apricot jelly. Uh, bup, bup. Wait, what? Apricot jelly? And, oh, salmonberry jelly. Oh, okay, that's why it was different. Unmilled rice. Do I have a mill? I don't think I've got a mill yet, do I? Pretty sure I don't. Showed me a meter where it shows your animals getting fat. Oh. Maybe that'll be in the update. Two cat. Where did my other cow go? Oh, there it is. I left the gate open all night. Now one of the cows got out. Isn't that always the way it goes? You know, there, there's uh, an update coming for... Um, so I just need a, a melon or a pumpkin. I think what we're going to try and do is really make an effort for those. And then that'll finish the pantry. Um, let's see what else. I need lots of money for the vault. Well, I can go put 5000 in now. Or if I wait a bit, I could do the, the 15000 and get that done. Bulletin board. How about... Why don't we try for Chanter's Bundle? Field research. Un, mm, we need a red cabbage. Um... Let's see. How long does this game go? Five years? Ten years? Do you know, technically, and I uh, don't hold me to this, um, people who are smarter than me on this will, will be able to respond better, but I think you can go as long as you want to. I don't think there's a, a an end to it. Like, you, you can go as high as the years you want, but I think it's technically three years like I know by year three you're supposed to get a visit from grandpa I'm pretty sure I'm almost 100% positive but yeah you can go as many years as you want I've seen videos of people going a hundred years um but oh right that's right we have our smallmouth bass pond all right, it's, it's afternoon. Do I have any geodes? No, I think you could go as many years as you want, but I te think technically three years is... Um, ooh. I think technically three years is how high you can go. Hang on. Scythe. Steel axe. Steel pickaxe. We should get a gold one if we want to break open that, um, that e meteorite, shouldn't we? One, two, three, four, five. Don't we need a certain amount of money, too? There's no end. Does that mean you can advertise? You know what? From what I've seen, I think if you have kids, I don't think the kids actually grow up. Maybe that'll be something. That would be actually something kind of fun to do. If, if um, Concerned Ape in the updates, if they had the ability for the kids you have to grow up, because... You know, they've done a hundred years in the game and nothing ever changes. Wait, where am I going in here? That's not where I meant to go. I meant to go down to here because I want to make a gold pickaxe so I can um, um, break open the, uh, the meteorite. But that would be a fun game where you have a kid and the kid can grow up and take over. Because it would be nice to have you know kids to be able to help you work the farm. But who knows what all is coming in that update. I'm looking forward to it. And I know Concerned Ape is really focusing in now. Can I upgrade my tool to a um, gold pickaxe? Yeah! We gonna get it! Always thought having kids in an RPG would be an interesting concept. Not like a Sims type, but more role-playing as a parent. That would be kind of fun. Honey... 
Mommy's got to go out and slay the Gorgon. You stay here and eat all your vegetables, all right? That would be a very interesting... Okay. George thinks no one in town cares about him. Dozen leaks. Aw, heck. Yes. We got 10 days to get George... What did that say? Hold on. Let me look at my journal. What did that say? 12 leaks. We got 10 days to get 12 leaks. We got our work cut out for us. Oh! I don't think you can hear it, but I got new batteries uh, for my chiming clock that I found probably third hand, honestly. I got new batteries and the musical chimes on it and stuff are ringing out nice and pretty I need to, I know what we need we need some mixed seeds right the one time children assisting while the slaying yeah mommy did I slay it good very good now remember <laughs> when you slay it you use it with the pointy end Pointy end goes in the other man. Stick him with the pointy end. Oh, good. Emily didn't see us. All right. Let's make that the um, the goal of this stream is to try and get... Hello, Mr. Kent. That was it. Looks like a decent day for fishing, doesn't it? Dragon Quest. Your character grows up... One of the Dragon Quest games... Mary character grows up, marries one of three characters, has a kid, and eventually you take over as the kid. Yeah, that that does that would be difficult to do in game form. But hey, I think that's one of the things I find so fun is you know, you get attached to your characters and you really get to know them and you want them to be um let's go to the mines. Um. Oh, that's right. I wanted to see if I could find... It's 440. Let's go down here. Because I wanted to look to see if we... Except I don't have... My... Good grief. I am a dope. <laughs> Fine, let's go slay some things while I'm here. Can't bust anything open. Because I forgot I don't have a pick axe. Ay, ay, ay. Leave the mine. Oh, I probably is got to be mods to be able to do that. I mean, if somebody can mod this game so that there's in entirely new families added. Um, then there's got to be an option to have uh, kids grow up and stuff. Would be super fun, I think. I'd like to be able to see that. Get married to one of the characters in here. Oh, there we go. There's a leak. There's one leak. Two leak. Or a horseradish. There it goes. Oh, Ed! Welcome, Ed! There it goes. Ed, it's good to see you. Stardew Valley. Ha 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 ha. Yes. All oh, the horror. All right. This is the cheeses I want to sell. Let's put them in here. Um, let's go put all this away and then we'll go looking for more leeks. Slimes. Um, fiber. Sap. Uh, let's put the leaks in here where they'll be safe, too. Because remember, we need to get, um, 12. Oh, look at that. Let me go grab the other one and put them in there. We're up to, actually, we're probably up to two, technically. It seems, yeah. Stardew Valley, like, ha, 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 ha. Gather 12 leaks. I've done two, so it's not going to count that third one. So, yes, let's make that the goal. We will try and get the meteorite opened. 
we will try and um, get, whoops, get the leaks for George. And that's the mod I want, an Eldritch Horror Farming Simulator. If you don't get your crops in, the madness. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. That would be, that would be fun. HP Lovecraft going, you didn't get your farm in. Release the madness. The slime game? That's... I've never played... You mean like Slime Rancher? You know, any other time I hit all these big tufts of grass and I will get mixed seeds like crazy. Now it's all fiber. Oh, I just thought of something. There we go. Mix seeds. Mix seeds. Knew we'd get there in the end. What time is at 8.40. We still got time. Ooh, the, the fishy thing. Where's my fishing rod? Perfect. Whee! What do we get? A smallmouth bass. Gee, another one? Got some glasses. Harvey keeps losing his glasses, I think. Ah. Everybody be quiet. We're hunting glasses apparently. Never mind. Ooh. Hello. Um I guess they've gone to bed. Hello, piggy. Honestly having much harder than Aww. I'm glad you're doing okay, Ed. I know it's it's got to be so tough, especially in this cold. I hope you're I hope you're taking it e as as easy as you can, and making sure that you you look after yourself in in any way that you're able. I I am sending you all my thoughts, my friend. <sighs> uh, so that these are all the seeds, fall seeds. Poppy seeds, spangle seeds, cranberry seeds, winter seeds. Ooh, mixed seeds. Here we go. Let's see what we can get with these mixed seeds. Um, let's skip out the... Skip this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's do it. And let's water everything. I know it's getting late. I appreciate that. All right. Let's put this away. Let's see what we can get tomorrow. Claude, move over. All right, we got to start selling some fish, get that vault fixed up, but we got to start doing some more fishing and really making effort to get the rest of the fish we need. I know some of the fish you can only buy at certain seasons. What's the weather? 
Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Yay! What do we got here? Ooh, baked fish. Ooh, could go for some baked fish. That sounds yummy. Where's that one? Okay, cauliflower. Uh. Ooh, yay, some more stones. Uh, where's... There it is. Oh, that's a cool idea. I really gotta make an effort next time around to... Oops. Hold on. No, you're not getting out. You're not getting out. You escaped last time and you didn't even go down and eat all the grasses all the way at the bottom. That's kind of cruel of you. Um... Hello, Claude. Excuse us. We're gonna go give you some water. Uh, that goes there. Those go there. Um... These go here. These go here. Um... Oh, we have a letter, too. Get your hubby to give you a, a ghillie suit? New rods. Ooh. Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money you can buy. And you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon, Willie. Cool, Willie. Thank you. We'll look into doing that. Okay. Um... Let's see, I just milked the goats, so we're just going to do the cows. Ooh! Oh, wow, I got them both at once. Wow, way to go me. Oop, there we go. Some... Row. Brush up your pirate voice. <laughs> Got to clear some of this. I got to make sure that uh, I get some more grass in the pen for everybody. Let's go get... As a matter of fact, let's go do that. Go get some grass starter stuff. And let's sell some of these fish we've got. Because I think... As far as the fish tank goes, specialty fish, we need a sand fish and a ghost fish. We need a walleye, which I think you have to get in the fall. And then the river fish, we need a tiger trout and a catfish. And everything else is good. So let's see. That's a bullhead we can sell. Sardine we can sell. Bream. Tiger trout. For whatever reason, the shad looked like it was a shad. Can sell the crab. We can sell the shell and this and this. Go chub, smallmouth bass, perch, pike, tuna, a spook fish. I'm going to hold on to that spook fish for a moment. Squid ink, a carp, crayfish. Sell some of these. An anchovy. Let's save our bait. 
and let's sell that and let's sell the sea urchin in this and the snail and let's go see what we can get from Willy in all the things we're about to sell. I think when we get to year three, I'm going to make a genuine uh, attempt to really make the farm look like an actual farm. Like there's going to be specific fields in a specific place. I'll have the orchard and stuff. It, everything's all kind of willy-nilly at the moment. So, right now, we'll see. Ooh, there's some more stuff. Ooh, there's a shrimp. I had shrimp for lunch today. There's another shrimp. And one of those Joja CD things. There should be a birthday update. We could put in your birthday on that day, everyone. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Willie! Wait, where'd he go? Dude! Where did he go? It's Saturday. Don't... Don't call me out here! What organization in this economy? <laughs> Do you know what? Y you're not wrong, Ed. <laughs> You're, you're not wrong. I, I did a good chunk of shopping at the Dollar Tree today. <laughs> I got pretty far. Ooh, piece of bread. Um, ooh, let's check this out. Catch two catfish. I haven't even caught one, Willie. What's an economy? Um... I think I remember hearing about it back in... Usually when I hear about the economy, it's usually started by back in my day. Um, let's go see if Willie is actually back at his thing now. Maybe he just was away for lunch. Well, where'd he go? Dagnabbit. Willie, that's not cool. All right, let's go back to our farm. Uphill. Back in my day, we rode pigs to work every day. Uphill, both ways, in the snow, with no shoes. I think we all had the same parents or the same grandparents. Sorry, Jody. I was looking for something cool. I didn't find it, though. We should probably start looking at uh, expanding so we can get a pig or two, speaking of pigs. Because we've got goats, we've got cows, we need to get sheep and pigs. And we really need to get some pigs because we need to have, um, we need to get a uh, hustle on the truffles. <laughs> And the economy is an old classic car that's been passed down from generation to generation. It's never worked. Nobody knows why. I think Ford made it. That's why. There we go. Mix seeds. Hooray. And let's sell these. Oh, except my inventory is full of so let's offload. And nobody knows how to fix it. Again, <laughs> must be Ford. All right. Bye-bye, fishies. Boom, 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 boom. See what you missed out on? By not letting me sell at the shop, George. Now you're going to have to get it secondhand. Ooh, cherries. Let's go make some cherry jam. And cherry, cherry, cherry. And how about some apricot? Eat apricot? Nah, not right now. And let's put the mixie there. Give it some water. 
Let's recycle this CD. And then let's go look... Oop, wrong one. Let's go looking for some uh, leaks for George. Uh, put that there. Let's leave that alone. Crusty baguette. Ooh, that sounds good. Are you one of those people that can't do an evil playthrough of a game? Um. Yes. Yes, I am. You kids don't know what it's like in my day. We had to work for everything. We woke up at 6 a.m. And we'd mow the grass. It hadn't even had a chance to get started growing yet, and we would already mow it. And we were thankful. Ooh, I wonder if the honey is going to be strawberry style. It's just wild honey. Never mind. No, I don't want to eat the common mushroom. I mean, I do, but not at this moment. We should probably clear some of this out. One, two, three. Take half of that. Take that. How much? See this? Uh, I feel like we need it for something, though. I'm just going to sell these. All right, let's go up into the mountain, see if we can find some more leaks for George right after we put this away. Hopefully the pickaxe will be back with us tomorrow and we can break open the ore and then we'll be able to head back into the mines and really see what, uh, what things we can break open. Oh, there's a horseradish. No, I... I do not believe I am. I am usually just... Oh, a tibia. Gunther! Gunther! We got something for you. No, I don't get obsessed with a concept. Once I understand it, then it's making use of it. I just look for ways to try and be the best at my, my job with learning new concepts. Like wanting to move up into a higher position at my job. I'm going to learn those products inside and out. Because my end goal is to try and... Ooh, wormy dealies. Uh, to, ooh, prehistoric skull. Oh, another leak. Uh, and another leak. That's four leaks. Ooh. We should visit the quarry one of these days and just mine like crazy. All right. Don't have anything there. Um... Um, yes, I will say I have found myself getting very attached to characters and, um, wanting to know, but also getting very attached to the actors and wanting to get to know more about them in the movies. Like I can remember being a kid and really loving Star Trek, the original series and absolutely loving Dr. McCoy who's my absolute favorite character on the show. And I just wanted to see a lot more of what other things DeForest Kelly, who played Leonard McCoy in the show, I wanted to see what other things he had done. Um, and I watched a, a lot of movies uh, of his. And I did the same thing with um, Dean Stockwell on Quantum Leap and 
a few others. But looking back on it now, I find myself learning from those things I saw in the same way that, that I was like, I'm, I'm studying what they do so that I can do it too. I don't know. For whatever reason, that's the way my mind worked of, hey, I will be really good at this kind of thing if I do this. Um, that's a wild plum. I was actually wondering if we had in here a cabbage or anything like that. Ooh, I got an idea. Let's take one of those hops and go put it over here because I saw we've got this. Let's make some beer because isn't that one of the things? Pam is thirsty. Pale ale. And we got to go see Gunther tomorrow. Um, oh, we were going to get grass for the cows. You know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start closing the doors at night so that I can go in, pet all the animals, because I haven't been petting them. And then I can let them go after I've finished doing their thing. And then I can make them happier animals. Also, when I get the mill, I'm going to put the mill here. All right. But no, I think I think I, I look into certain things where it's like, you know, I become very interested in that because it's like, wow, this is fascinating stuff to learn. Like my voice acting mentor, um, e even though he probably doesn't realize it, but um, Rob Paulson, huge fan of Rob Paulson, which I'm sure a lot of you who come to my streams often already know. Um, my gold pickaxe is ready. Oh, what's on the... Greetings! It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish? Complete breakfast! Last week I taught you how to make hash browns. This week I'll teach you how to combine them with other ingredients to create a hearty, complete breakfast. This meal will really fill you up and give you the energy you need to get in a hard day's work. It's a Kim! Hi, Kim! Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Yay! Hello, hello to you too, bestie. My brain twin made it. Ooh, cookies! Evelyn gave us cookies just like a good grandma. Uh, yes. Didn't we put the seeds in here, the unmilled rice? Yes, we did. Put there. Um. Oh. Uh, I remember my grandma would always make my birthday cake. And then when I turned a certain age, I decided I wanted to have like a quote unquote big girl's birthday cake. I honestly don't know what made me think this was it's like well it, it wasn't like oh i'm out of water it wasn't the um kids birthday cake so it's like wow i really want to have cheesecake and my grandma was like all right i'm like you're gonna make a cheesecake but isn't that a lot of work and she's nope so from the time i was 16 to when she finally passed away uh, <coughs> uh, she would make me cheesecake for my birthday. Um, and it was so good. I, I try to make sure I have some cheesecake on my birthday. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes I forget. But, yeah, I do my best. Alright, let's go say hi to our critters. Ooh. Well, you know what? You grumpy little things.
Well, now you won't be grumpy because I gave you some hay. Oh, no milk. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Everybody out. If you would go down and eat the grass like you're supposed to. Ooh, we should also think about getting rabbits. Why on earth are you trying to milk an egg? And yes, you can all quote that. Whoop, everybody out. Ooh, yes. No, I don't want to eat the... No! Stop trying to make me eat the eggs or drink the milk or anything like that and just be a thing. Pierre here. I really, really want to play the sashimi. Pay a top coin for whoever brings me one. Okay. See, here's the problem, though. I don't have a kitchen. All right. Let's go see Gunther. Let's go pick up our thing. <laughs> no, I don't have that problem. When I write characters, I really try and make sure that like I've I've written a book that's never been published it likely won't be because I realize now I enjoy reading better than I did writing but it's a good story I might adapt it into an audio one of these days um, but it was called it's called Mark of the Unicorn and I was really focused on making some enjoyable characters out of that um, donate to museum yes all right where do we put? Oh, here's where all our bone stuff is. Oh, we don't get a donation thingy. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing that with some of mine. What, some of the books you wrote, Kim, you're thinking of doing that and turning them into audio adaptations for your YouTube channel? If you're thinking that, I'm going to take a shot. I've got some water here, Kim. Tell me if you are thinking of some of the book. Yeah, take a shot. Kim and I are brain twins. We share one brain cell. We just take turns using it. But we have this tendency to leave behind the same ideas that the other one had. Yay, we got a gold pickaxe. Let's go. You received a gold pickaxe, yay. Now, we should go. First, we should organize all of this. Everybody back here. Um, let's just throw that away. Um, excuse you, we have more than one brain cell. <laughs> You're right, we do have more than one brain cell, we just share them. <laughs> Already did that one. You're absolutely right, mea culpa. <laughs> All right, um, kale, jazz, garlic, grass starters. All right, I know I used a lot of money on that, but, um, should, oh, ooh, ooh, hang on. We need, we need, ooh, there's the large milk we sold for 380 $3.80. You know what? It's about the, the price of milk nowadays anyway. So pomegranate. Well, we see we've got we've got apricot. We've got cherry. So we've got enough for one tree. Pomegranate, peach, or sap, or orange, or an apple. Now, if we look at the thing... Um... We need a pomegranate to complete this, but we don't have rabbits yet. But that's field research. Uh, we need a an apple. And this is a whole other mess in and of itself, poppies. So do we get the apple tree or do we get the pomegranate? What do all of you think? I want to get one of those, I think, and, and plant it. 
35 copper ores. Uh, there's not going to be any of that inside a copper ore, sadly. Harvey! Hmm, struggling to make it ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess I should try to get patience from the neighboring towns. Maybe. That might be a good idea. Also, I'm going to go get you some coffee, dear friend. Gus, coffee. Harvey. Harvey, I have coffee for you. Harvey. I have coffee for you. Harvey. Harvey. Coffee. It's for me? It's my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. No, I just read your wiki article. All right. What do you say? We plant the grass starters, eat the cookies, sell the bean, and break open that ore. Yourself. You know what I'm bringing, don't you? Yeah, you little turkeys. Ooh, that should be another animal we get. Turkeys. Turkey feathers. And there, there. Yes, go to town, my lovelies. Eat hearty. All right, those are all happy. Those are all happy. Eat the cookies. Yes, eat the cookies. Heck, where's the screw with the cactus line came from? I weirded off and drove the cactus farm for that occasion. Yep. Companion ideas for the Fallout games are really attached a lot of them. Yeah, okay, here we go. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Boom. What do we get? Six already and more. Couple of geodes. Nice. All right. Some stone. Here we go. Couple of geodes. Ooh, we've got 11 now. Can we make... Let's take five and a coal. And let's see if we can make one of these. Yeah. Look at that. Look at us. We rock. All right, let's take these. None of that. That one, that one, that one. I think everything... Oh, let's sell that. Yam. We're good there. Let's sell that. Gotta go tuck the kiddo in. Okay, tell the kiddo I said goodnight and sleep well. Sell the maple syrup. Actually, hang on. I want to use that because I saw what it said there. 50 energy. Ugh. I'm going to put the maple syrup in here because I eventually want to use all of this. Ooh, read, red eagle furniture going to be placed inside your house. <gasps> Chocolate cake. Well, we're going to the mine tomorrow now that we've got this back. Um, we've got that. Let's go fishing because we have not been in a hot minute. Pierre's notice. Bring here some sashimi. Um. All right. So we broke open the ore. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. Ooh. Let's go see what we can catch in the um, that little hidden area. Ooh, wormy dealy. A rusty spur. I wonder what that would sell for. Cause I don't know what we could use it for. People must have been raising animals in this generation area for generations. Yeah. Ooh, hardy boy. Ooh, what do we got here? Please have some stuff I can use. Pomegranate! Yes! Okay. Um. Uh. Um. A rare seed. A walnut tea table and a fairy rose and a cockle. Pickles. Ooh. Tulip, anchovy, blue jazz. Did I already get a pufferfish? Let's go to the fish tank. 
Yeah, we already got a puffer fish. We need a sand fish and a ghost fish. But we can go do the pomegranate. So we're going to get the apple tree. We're going to get this apple tree. Because we already have the pomegranate. Except I don't think we can... I think we have to go tomorrow. But let's go run over to the community center. I hope they sleep well too, yeah. Hope everybody sleeps well. As cold as it is, I hope everybody just bundles in. Can a character we all disliked? Hmm. I don't know. I'll tell you, one of my favorite role-playing games is Dragon Age Inquisition. And even though, and here's what's funny. So first off, even though I get every single companion, I get every single one in the party because I'm a completionist. I really don't like Sarah, the elf. I mean, she's funny. She's got some funny lines. And when I, I've got a fan fiction I've written that has included her. And I like writing her dialogue. But at the same time, I really don't like her. But a, but a lot of people do. Actually, you know what? I can do 5,000, I thought. Yep, it's a five. There we go. Ooh, what I got? Quadly fertilizer. Nice. Um, so we can get 10,000 and 25,000 eventually. Cassandra is wifey. I like Cassandra. Um, but I'll tell you who a lot of people hate and I like is Vivian. A, a lot of people don't like her, but I do. I think she is like... Like, I hate the fact that she is so prejudiced against Cole who I also am like you know too pure for this world S small bean must protect um but yeah I, I do I do like um I do like Vivienne uh, I don't like Mr. Mr. Hardboiled Egg Solace I love Dorian his character is just so cool I think they took the most time with his backstory Blackwall, I'm indifferent. I honestly am indifferent towards Blackwall. Um, Iron Bull, also indifferent. He's very, very fun. Mm. Um. Oh, I got an idea. Um, who else? Uh, I can't think. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yes, Cassandra. Um, Liliana. Uh, if anybody's actually interested in reading the fan fiction I wrote, I'm on... Um, if you go and type in an archive of our own, it's under the name Reddit Bliss. I'll put a link, link to it. Um, who else is it? Uh, I, I cannot think of, see, Sarah, Cole, Dorian, Black Wall, Iron Bull. Um, oh, they'll come to me. I'm sure there's more. But yeah, Sarah, never been a big fan. Varric, yes, thank you. Forgot about Varric, love Varric. Varric is fun. Solus, I give a hard time, but he does come in handy. And, and obviously his story is incredibly fascinating. Especially when we learn who he really is. Um, spoilers, not going to say. I don't know who's played the game. Uh, nope, we're going to leave these in here. Can I make a field snack? Yes, I can. Um. Uh, who else? But yeah, 
There's there's a few I like using regularly, but I will still collect all of them because, you know, they they all have, you know, very handy um, skills that I want to make use of. Uh, put that there. No, that's the wrong one. This one. Uh, and that one, and that one. I've got to fill up on all of the, um, stuff to make field snacks for tomorrow. Because we're going to the mines and we are not coming back. Love Dragon Age. Yeah, the combat is, is a little wonky. I have it for the PlayStation. I also have it for my PC. Um, I won't ever do a let's play of it because you know again there's voice actors but I do have a fan fiction that I'm currently writing I'm going very slowly on it though take the back baked fish and take the chocolate cake and take the maple syrup we are going to sugar rush ourselves <laughs> through the um, mines tomorrow and don't worry I'll take some vegetables too Let's see. Um, papa. No, not the yam. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Take that. Leave those. I don't know if I would say it's the best one. Uh, the, the first Dragon Age Origins. It definitely... I think... I've heard, I've heard somebody say this. Um, Dragon Age Origins was too big a sandbox. Dragon Age 2 was too small a sandbox. Inquisition seems to have been just right as far as sandbox size goes. Yeah, I couldn't finish it because I couldn't figure out how to get anybody to do anything I wanted. All right. Let's head our, our way off to, um, all right, what's the weather report? Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. All right. And you know what? Ooh, there's the iridium ore. Let's see. We've got a bunch of jazz flowers. Got a bunch of... I'll, I'll get the green beans tomorrow. Ooh, it looks like a lot of parsnips were grown. Let's get these strawberries. Actually, let's get the strawberries tomorrow. Um, ooh, and let's keep these. Let's put the bar of pure iridium. Do we need any iridium? No, we still need quality crops for the pantry. Fish tank that apple we need a poppy which I don't think we we need a red cabbage we need we this is what we're going to find the frozen geode and the enchanter's bunion we need a rabbit's foot so let's put all of these jazz things away except for four one Okay, put that away. Actually, let's take one of those, leave that, and one of those. All right, let's move this down here. Let's put the iridium ore in here. And, okay, and we are off. So yeah, the the one I wrote, I have it as um, I actually kind of bent the rules a little bit to make it, um, you know, something you don't get to do. rice shoots. It takes eight days. We don't have much. Let twenty two. We don't have enough days to grow the rice. We really need to get that pantry done so we'll be able to grow our greenhouse. Wrong way. No, that's the right way. 
Oop, there's a leak. Okay. Let's finish up the mines. See how far we can get. Uh, start here. There we go, because this is all the frozen stuff. Because we need frozen geode. Alright. The nice thing about being this far down... There we go, frozen geode. Ha! Nice thing about this far down... No bats. Ooh, look at this gold axe just get through everything like crazy. Oops. All right, we're looking for the thing. Whoop, whoop. Got it. Is there anything in these boxes? Ooh, cave carrot. All right, let's go now back to the elevator and then finish up. Because now that we've got that thing, let's go back to where we left off. 105. Got him. All right. Select the thing. All right. Ooh. Oh dear. Concentration, concentration, concentration. These guys move like crazy. All that for a sap. All right. How's our health looking? Stairs. Find the ladder. Find the ladder. Find the ladder. Oh, there we go. Ooh, get some gold now. Like how Origins of the Alternate starts. Yeah, it does. That was fun. I did like that. Wrong button. All right, time to eat. Let's eat some bok choy. And how about some horseradish? And how about one of these blue jazz flowers? There we go. Take that. Ha ha. Ooh. What do we got? Knights of the Old Republic. That was suggested as something um, for me to play on my channels doing that. But the problem is it's, it's more of a group thing. I think even GGFE suggested doing it. Ooh, scroll. I had a scroll in a while. Uh, read the scroll. Maru's gold bar, iridium bar, battery pack, diamond, and strawberries. Oh, these must be parts still needed for my greatest invention yet. Gold bar, iridium bar, a battery pack, a diamond, and strawberries. Ooh. What would her invention be? Ooh. The mind has been boggled. That's the real play is single player. Oh, I guess I am think I probably am thinking of that. You're right. All right, come on, give us the ladder. Ladder, please. Whoa, no, get away from me. 
Get away. Get away. Get away. Go squish. Thank you. Go squishies. Yeah, one of the things I've been trying to do is incorporate a lot more protein into my diet because my meals are, are, are so... Because I work such weird hours compared to everybody else. Oh. So, all of the... Oh, I spoke too soon. Is a bat. Where are you? Where are you? Ooh, got some wood. I hear, I hear flapping. Got it. All right. What are we on? Two more levels. We're going to have some magma geodes open up uh, in our next stream too, which will, I think, be at the end of the month on the 27th, I think, because the 20th is at least maybe, I don't know, it could be the 19th. Kim may have to confirm, but I do know it was either the 19th or the 20th that the GGFE was going to be streaming. Oh, well, that was quick. Oh, well, which ladder should I take? Left or right? You guys, let me know. Which one should we go? Left or right? I don't know that it really makes a difference. Left ladder, right. Bear left, right frog. All right, one, that's one for left, one for right. That's another for... Oh, hang on. Let's eat a field snack. Oh, changing to right, huh? Okay. Okay, so right, right. Lol, love, don't laugh. Tell me which one you want me to do. You're saying right also. Don't eat the leak. That's for George. Okay. My health is good. Everybody is saying right. Okay. Ooh, space boots. Is that the next level? Next level going down to space? Oh, no. I'm not, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Oh no, my inventory's full. Oh, I better eat these potatoes. My health is, uh, well, my health can go down all at once. And so can my energy. What's this? Jinxed. There we go. We'll head up in a moment. Treasure and pain. Yes. Maybe we should have gone with the left ladder. <laughs> oh, I just realized we're at 111. We're very near the end of the mines. Like, I don't think we can go any lower. I mean, I know there's more to it. Like, on the other side of the quarry is something where a lot more tougher villains... Welcome back, Cam. Ooh, I'll tell you. Uh, and I don't know, Kim, if you remember this. Uh, but the other day, and yes, yeah, actually last night. I hear flapping. Flap, you little bunny bat. Um, started thinking about a show I watched as a kid. Oh, I hear another bat. Called Belle and Sebastian. 120. Okay, ends at 120. Um, and I found all 52 episodes on YouTube of Bell and Sebastian. So I started watching it last night. 
and then was chatting with my mother about what I had found. And she's like, oh, I remember that show. And I said, yeah, I was, I, I can't remember much of it. And she said, I remember you watching that and um, Kimba the White Lion. I said, I'm sure I watched it, but I can't remember much about it. And she said, yeah, it was all on our, all on the Canada channel. You know, that's how we watch. And then we started listing up all the shows we could remember that I watched as a kid. To which we immediately both started singing the theme song for the Polka Dot Door. And I started singing it word for word. And I just kind of went, how do I still know this song? Oh, there's going to be a lot of gold bars being made. Ooh, and a lot of geodes opening. Next stream, we're going to have geodes out the wazoo. Ooh, its eyes got red. We made it angry. You wouldn't like little red slime when he's angry. Let's see. I don't want to sing it because I don't know if it's... It can't be copyrighted. The polka dot door, the polka dot door. Let's go through the polka dot door with songs and stories and so much more. Do, 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 do. Through the polka dot door. Like I said, I was shocked at how much I remembered of the song. Yes, there will be geodes for days. Oh, not cool, you little bugger. You're going to make me eat that chocolate cake, aren't you? Yes, you are. And you know what? No regrets. Knights of the Old, Old Republic 1 and 2. Okay. I'll just add it to the list of games that uh, I want to play. I got over Christmas, or maybe it was Thanksgiving, I got all three Batman Asylum games, and I have barely had time to play them. Again. During the week, I'm at work, and then I come home and record. Saturdays are either more recording or other games that I play, so I have to be careful or I'm going to give myself too many options. All right, let's see if we can finish up before it gets much later, because I just realized... It's 11 o'clock by our counter here. We've got an hour left before we pass out from exhaustion. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, um, eat this. No, I'm eating bats. Don't bug me right now. Where were you the last stream when I needed wings? It's like you guys couldn't... S normally you can't stay away... See? Normally the bats can't stay away from me. The minute it's like, ooh, she needs our wings. All of them are hiding. Ooh, a scroll. Oh, shoot. There it is. Uh, maple syrup? Yes. All right. Now, sadly, we didn't get down to 115 because it's 12 a.m. and we got to get going back. And I think we will go to bed and we will call the stream there because look at all the stuff we've got. We have got loads to do for next stream. Geodes for days. Finishing up some more bundles. We've got more leaks to find for George. Oh, we've got so much to do. So yes, definitely. Yes, we're almost there. Hang on, Birdie. You can make it. You can make it, Birdie. Oop, there's the wine. We'll get that next time. Run, 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 run. Run to bed, run to bed, run to bed. Hello, Claude. Kiss, kiss, hug, hug. And good night. Yes. Woo! All right. Exit to title. Let's go back here. Hit play. Okay. We did it. We were pretty cool, actually. We did really good. 
All right. Well, let me recap everything. We broke over it opened that meteorite that was landed a year ago. And we finally got that open and got some iridium ores. We got some scrolls to explore next time. Some geodes. We can take stuff over to the community center. I'm making notes for myself right here. I'm glad you had fun, Eternal. I like it when uh, people come and hang out and have uh, have a good evening relaxing. So, just to recap, the channel now does have the option where you can join and get uh, special perks. Those perks are coming. It's a work in progress. There will be... Uh, specific emojis there'll be other perks and stuff um the patreon is going to be started back up at the end of the month for patron exclusive series uh archives of other audios some patron exclusive audios that are not meant for youtube there, there are going to be some series on there that i write that will eventually go on youtube but they're going to be patron exclusive for the time being some not meant for youtube and, you know, there's other games coming that I'm going to be playing. You know what? I just realized I do have Star Wars The Old Republic on my computer or in my Steam. Um, but I don't have Knights of the Old Republic. I have to take a look at that. But, yeah. Next stream will be the 27th, about the same time. And I think, yeah, that was it. There's lots coming. But keep giving all your support that you can. Tell your friends, tell your family about my cozy little channel here. Don't forget to check out Kim's channel. Kim is in here. Don't forget to check out Ed's channel if Ed is still here. And yeah, I do a lot of stuff on their channels too. Ed has a series that he's working on. I know it's on hiatus right now while he gets things sorted. But um, V is what it's called. Ed, if you're still still here... Correct me, but it's like Vera, I think. I know that's, um, I know that's, uh, been kind of on the back burner for a while. It's got stuff going on. We all do. But, get to listen to some of my stuff over there. Kim Carter's channel, that's where you can find all of our GGFE stuff and our Dungeons and Dragons one-shots and a whole bunch of other stuff that, Either I've had a hand in making or, um, again, that I enjoy listening to as much as you do. But regardless, I hope you had a good time tonight. Love you all so much. You are my favorite tweet hearts. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. If you're someplace that generally gets cold this time of year, stay warm. If you're generally, if, if you're someplace that is generally warm this time of year, Enjoy it. <laughs> Just try and send some of it back back north. And yeah, keep watching my channel for all the stuff that I'm going to be putting out in the weeks ahead, the months ahead. And hey, we will see you next time. Have a good night, Tweet Hearts. <laughs>